managed to scratch the surface of all the amazing bars that they have in Philly. It's absolutely silly and the guys here are totally spoiled. My favourite was still Tide Hands. It's just an amazing brewery, had great food there as well. And that beer, Hop Hands, is just insane. And it's inspired me. As you know, I love East Coast IPAs now. We're going to do a little road trip to Trillium. Um, and I've got a lift waiting just behind me. The video's coming soon. Crazy mother... have been watching the craft beer channel avidly for the past couple of weeks will be well aware of my obsession with these new low bitterness high hop aroma really hazy IPAs from Northeast America uh, and my obsession has now got to the point where we're going to drive a couple of hundred miles just to visit Trillium because I really think it might be the future of brewing so me and my me and my boys from caves we've got ourselves a Mustang because because that's just how we roll and we're driving all the way from Philly up to Boston to get our hands on some beautifully super fresh Trillium. So it's getting pretty late, we're just going past New York. It's a very weird feeling to be going past such an amazing place and not actually stopping. It's getting pretty late, so we're gonna stop off in New Haven, try some New England Brewing Company beers, uh, and also some amazing pizza. Apparently they do it great over there. Uh, but yep, there is New York. If you wanna know where to drink in New York, we've got a video. Click on New York to see that. Passing within about 50 miles of a brewery like Treehouse, it would be very rude not to stop. Uh, so we've come here, it's in the middle of nowhere, we had our sports mode on, it's pretty awesome. This is one of the best breweries in the world, it's in the middle of nowhere. Sometimes they have one and a half thousand people queuing for their cans, but luckily it's looking pretty quiet today, so we're going to pick us up some Julius, which is one of the beers that inspired our East Coast IPA uh, with Gypsy Hill. Uh, let's see how long the queue is. We just had a lovely chat with the mother-in-law of one of the founders and the wife of the other founder, uh, it's Damien and Nate, who founded it. Anniversary book that was a gift to the kids <laughs> from one of the owner's wives, one of the three owners. Nice. So, so it's, it's a proper family business, which yeah, I, 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 I don't is. know what I expected, but that's amazing. We're all a little here, a little there, a lot of volunteers. They're going to expand this place uh, to another place about four minutes down the road. Uh, it's going to be 135,000 barrels, yeah. which is huge and a big, big risk. But I mean, they're going to absolutely smash it. They got one half thousand people queuing the day before Thanksgiving uh, last year. Uh, it's a pretty humbling place to be. It's nothing like a British brewery, uh, and I cannot wait to get stuck into these six cans of Julius. So just pick myself up. So if it was possible, this Mustang just got even cooler. It's a trillion. Oh, we came past here before. Why, why do Americans make everything big? I don't know what's more impressive, your beard, your ginger beard or that ginger crisp. <laughs> 
occurred to me that Julius and Cheetos might be the best Christian beer match ever. I'll report back. and we're so stuck in traffic. The car was too slow, so we're proceeding on foot down Congress Street, which is what the brewery's on, but it's the longest road I think I've ever walked. Uh, is that the Boston Tea Party? It must be. to row 34 which is just a couple of doors down so that we can drink it on tap you can't actually drink it at the brewery this is four point their american pale ale 6.6 so it's, it's 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 an ipa really but it's everything you'd expect all that stone fruit that's come from the east and then huge it's like a bag of hops in your face kind of aroma uh, which comes from the fact that it's so fresh and that's the only way they want you to drink it uh, it's been an amazing road trip uh, and all the beers have been fantastic. Maybe this is the pinnacle, I don't know. I haven't tried Julius yet, but I think that might be. Our flight leaves tomorrow, so until then, we're gonna go find ourselves a shanty and get ourselves some lobster rolls and drink Trillium until we fall asleep, happily clutching the bottles we just bought. Cheers.